Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today doing another collection video in the series for Gears in the Deep Roads. This time we are down in the Bastion of the Pure, looking for the 12 gears that you can find down here. Now, in order to find the first one, you're going to need to get down into the Bastion of the Pure. If you're not for sure how to get down in there, you actually want to make your way down from the Forgotten Caverns. And as you make your way through this long tunnel here, you're going to wind up coming to a transition area right here that actually leads you down into the Bastion of the Pure. It'll dump you out right here, and you'll be able to establish this waypoint and head down to pick up our first gear. So from here, we're going to wind our way down the hill over here towards the left. Keep going all the way down. And as soon as we get down here, there's like a little stone table that has been formed down here that has our first gear on it. So we'll walk up there and grab gear number one from the gears in the Deep Roads, Bastion of the Pure, and we'll be back with number two in just a moment. All right, so for number two, from the location where we found gear number one, which was right behind me, we're going to make our way over in this direction head down this winding hill. If this is your first time in here, you are going to get into some combat down here with some of the uh, special dwarf guys that are protecting something that you'll find out about later. But uh, you're going to head up this hill, just wind your way up in here, head through this little corridor, and as you come up to the top of this hill, you're going to fight off some of those dinosaur dog looking guys and there's probably going to be one of those dwarf guys up on the ledge here shooting at you but once you get him killed off head back behind this uh, piece of rock and you will find gear number two we'll be back with gear number three in just a moment all right for gear number three from the place we were when we found gear number two still in that same room we're actually going to head around and head up this winding walkway Grab some random loot that's on the ground. You can never have too much gold. And we're going to keep winding our way all the way up here. And when we get to the top here, we're going to head straight ahead out into this opening where you see the torch and the random nug floating around. And over on the right behind these rocks, you will find the gear number three. So that's number three in the books. We'll be back with number four in just a moment. All right, so gears four and five. Now in order to find these, pull up our quest map here. So here is where we found gear number one. Okay, and we made our way down in this direction. You wind up having to blow through one of those uh, weapon walls and you come down here, you're gonna find an operation that will, you'll drop the flag, go back to your Legion of the Dead Inquisition camp, the main one up top, all the way on the first level, and when you go to the expedition table, it will give you an operation to build this bridge slash scaffolding and ladders that gets you up into the area where you need to get at number four and number five. So once again, here's right where we are on the map. Pretty easy to get to. Once you get over here, go ahead and head up the planks walk the plank. You know you want to do it. We're going to climb up a number of ladders. You know how much I love ladders. Uh, come over here. One more ladder. And wait. There's more. Yes, one more ladder. And that gets us to the top. When you get up to the top, I want you to head straight ahead and around to your left search and you will find gear number four and then head back towards the scaffolding but swing around to the other side and you will find gear number five let's go ahead and grab that you've got four and five we'll be back with number six in just a moment all right so number six in order to find number six you need to make your way past where we found number four and five that's that operation that we did over there Gonna make your way all the way down here, kind of where the path turns into a bit of a uh, fork, right? And stand it against the mountainside where we are right now. You will see behind you a hole cut into the rock that has some torchlight coming out of it. What you want to do is hop up in there, 
and you will find yet another operation flag to drop. Go ahead and drop that. Head back to your expedition table at your main Legion of the Dead camp on level 1, and there's an excavate operation there. There's going to be some rocks blocking your way here, so you're going to need to excavate them with using your table operation. Once you get them out of the way, go ahead and head inside. Make your way over to the ladder. And number six is going to be one you've probably already seen already, but you couldn't figure out how to get to. Uh, while you were up getting four and five, you may have also tried to make a uh, strategic jump to get over there and fall into your death. So this is actually how you get up to see it. We're going to head up that other ladder out onto this ledge, and it's going to send us up over here onto this previously inaccessible platform. But there is a bit of jumping and praying that you have to do in order to pick up number six. But go ahead and grab that, and you've got number six. We'll be back with number seven in just a moment. Okay, so we're right back where we started from when we went to look for number six. We are right here on the map. In order to find number seven, we're going to head down this long hill that is set forth before us. Get all the way to the bottom here. Look around a bit, and you will see that on the other side of these rocks, if you are ever so careful, you can make it around and grab number seven. So that is number seven. We'll be back with number eight in just a moment. Okay, so for number eight, so we went down here to find, num find number seven, all right? I'm going to come back up the hill, and instead of taking uh, the right path, we're going to take the path not taken, which is towards the left. You're going to find number eight over here in this little, there's a little cave over here that's kind of obscured that if you're not looking for it, it can be hard to find, so I wanted to mark it on the map for you, so you kind of knew where we were going, and you had a general point of reference, in order to find it, we're going to head down this hill, like so many other times, so many other hills. Hang a left, and then hang a right, and you're going to find this cave. Head inside the cave, and then on your right, kind of up on a ledge, you are going to find number eight. It's by this blue glowy stuff. Uh, there we go. So that is number eight. We'll be back with number nine in just a moment. All right, number nine, starting from exactly where we were when we found number eight, right here. We are going to blow up this uh, weapon fragment wall that would have been right in front of us, head into this little ritual sacrifice chamber, and keep heading through here. And if you haven't been through here before, as you get to the next larger chamber, you are going to run into an arcane horror and his minions, which you need to kill off. Once you get them taken care of, though, head towards the back left corner of the room. Walk through the pool of blood. Bathe yourself, if you wish. That's how you roll. And you're going to come to this ledge right here. You want to drop down from the ledge, and if you look down as you're dropping, you are going to see that the next gear we are looking for is right beneath us. So that gives us number 9, and we'll be back with number 10 in just a moment. Okay, for number 10, right now we are exactly where we were when we picked up number 9. We jumped down off that ledge that you see over the top of my head, landed down here. This is where we are on the map. And we are going to head down this ramp further, and it is down there that we will find number 10. So if Varric will get his fat little dwarf ass out of my way, we can continue on our way. We're going to head down in this direction, and we are going to wind our way up this hillside here. Start searching around, and you shall find it right behind these rocks. Let's go ahead and grab that. You've got number 10. We'll be back with 11 in just a moment. All right, number 11. Here is where we are. All right, we were just right up in here where we found number 10. And what you're going to do is make your way even further down the hill, but you're going to want to swing up on this uh, path that's going to be to your left as you're navigating in the game. So we're going to head down in this direction. If you need, if you have not been through here before, 
and you do not have full potions, I beg of you, go use the supply cache. Get everybody up to full health and go use the supply cache. As you get down in here further, shit is going to get real, real fast. So, we're going to head up here towards the left, and sitting on this little piece of rock, you will find... Oh, your next piece. There we go. That's 11. We'll be back with 12 in just a moment. All right, number 12. Now, uh, as I said in number 11, as you make your way down into the area over my mm, left shoulder, uh, shit's going to get real, real fast. And that's if you haven't been through here before, and even if you have, uh, depending on where you are in the game, it's entirely likely that the same sequence of events is going to occur just without the wall that you blow up to make them stop spawning. So uh, just be aware, when you run down there, you're probably going to get attacked. So be prepared. Uh, and they just seem to keep spawning and spawning and spawning, and, which is nice if you want to farm gold, because them dropping like 200 gold each uh, will get you a lot of gold very quickly. However, uh, the battle can be pretty nasty if you don't know what you're walking into. So just want to put the caveat in there so nobody gets mad when they go, oh, you didn't tell me that I was about to walk into a fucking shitstorm down there. Well, now I told you. So from here, we're going to walk... <laughs> down in this direction and we're headed back towards that corner over there that I'm kind of walking directly at so I'm gonna keep heading this way and if you start searching right about now it should show up for you yes there it is and you can see the red dots just popping all over the map we're gonna go ahead and grab number 12 and that is it for our Bastion of the Pure collection of gears in the deep roads. And as always, as I run for my life, thanks for watching. Take care.